What's up beautiful people? This is Mike from Mike Gets Well and I hope you all are having an amazing day. In today's video, we're going to be covering this setting which is actually wrong on the Nvidia Shield TV when you're displaying it for your movie. So we're going to be digging into that. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel because that's going to help me a lot and get the word out there to more people. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the example. This is the LG OLED C10 in front of you and I'm connected with the Nvidia Shield TV Pro and I'm gonna open the Plex server and I'm gonna play a movie and show you what's going on. So let's go to the greatest showman and I'm gonna start from here, resume it. And I'm gonna pause this movie because otherwise I'm gonna get the copyright strike for using the content. So I'm gonna just pause it right here. So as you see on the top right corner that it shows the HDR, which is good. But if I go to the secret menu right here, you press the green button a couple of times. So you can see at the bottom right there, it shows that it is playing 2160p, uh, that's 4K, but at 60 hertz. So it's not actually playing this movie at 24 hertz, which is how the movies are shot. They are shot in 24 FPS. So right now it's showing the content in the 60 hertz. So either you're gonna have a tearing because your frame rates are lower than the refresh rate, so you're going to have some stuttering when you're playing your movies on 60 hertz, but they are actually in the 24 FPS. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go and do some changes for the display options in the Nvidia Shield TV. So I'm going to go back and go to the settings. And in the settings, we're going to head down to, and you can see right here, Nvidia has this in the process that where they're working on the match frame rate which is in the beta. Even if I click on this beta, it doesn't do anything to the frame rate. So it stays at the 60 Hertz, even though it should drop it down to the uh, 24 Hertz, but it's not doing that. So if you're watching movies, mostly on your Nvidia Shield TV, this is what you should be doing. You should be going to the device preferences in the settings and then go to the display and sound options. And you see in the resolution section that I'm at 4K, 60 Hertz, Dolby Vision, and HDR10. It's close to 60. It doesn't say exactly because that's how it is uh, notated on the Nvidia Shield TV. So the first one is if you want to just have the HDR and you don't want the Dolby Vision. But you want Dolby Vision and the HDR10 both, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Dolby Vision and HDR10 ready and 23.97, which is the 24 Hertz. So we're gonna click on that. All right, and now we're gonna click OK and go back to the Nvidia Shield TV and uh, we're gonna run our Plex server once again. Because you have to display your content the way it is shot, right? So if it is shot in 24 FPS, the NVIDIA Shield TV should match it with that refresh rate in order to show it properly. So if you know how it works on the uh, Blu-ray players, I'm going to play a movie on the Blu-ray player and I'm going to show you how it actually works on that. So I'm going to resume this right now and show you how it works on a Blu-ray player. That's how you want it to be on your NVIDIA Shield TV Pro as well. Okay, I'm going to pause it right here and going to hit that green button again a couple of times. And now you can see that we are displaying our content appropriately the way it should be. So 2160p at 24 hertz. If you have this mismatch, you're going to have issues with the picture. Either it could be stuttering or tearing. And you want to make sure your hertz, which is the display's refresh rate, should be matching with the content that you're playing. So I hope the NVIDIA will resolve this issue in the future with the match frame rate option which is right now in beta in the testing but it doesn't seem to be working i tried it with other applications as well but it doesn't seem to be working all right now i'm gonna go and show you how it shows on the blu-ray player so how it switches between 60 hertz to 24 hertz All right, guys, so now you can see on my screen, I am connected with my Blu-ray player, which is the 4K Blu-ray player UV-A20 Panasonic. And uh, let me bring up that menu, which is for refresh rate. So we are on the home screen on the Blu-ray player, and you can see right there, 
we have 2160p at 60 hertz so now if i go and play a movie on my uh, blu-ray player you're gonna see what happens all right i have a disc inside the blu-ray player which is the interstellar and it is loading and you will see that the tv refresh rate will change automatically so we getting the hdr there which is good and if i hit this button right here the green one you can see how it has changed from 60 hertz to 24 hertz which is the way you should be watching your movies so this is something that i wanted to share and i want to give a shout out to wayne out there he is one of the viewers and he also asked about the settings for the nvidia shield tv and i recently you know found this out when i was playing the movie on the tv and in fast action scenes it didn't look right so then i realized okay it is because the frame rate and the refresh rate mismatch this is common thing and this is what happens when you actually play your video games. Your refresh rate of the monitor is higher and your frame rates that you're getting from your video games is lower. And that's where you're going to start seeing the stuttering and also it can go otherwise. You know, when you're looking at your frame rates being so high and then your refresh rate is lower. Let's say a 60 hertz monitor and your game refresh rate or game FPS is like... 80 90 so you have more fps less hertz you're gonna have a stuttering so that's why we have the g-sync and free sync for gaming but for movies you have the auto content uh, switching or you have the auto frame rate matching this thing works amazing on the um, apple tv 4k if you have so if you're running this on apple tv 4k you're not gonna have any issues but in my case, I showed you with the two different devices. One is being the 4K Blu-ray player and other one is NVIDIA Shield TV. And with the NVIDIA Shield TV, it doesn't work with the content switching. So you have to manually do it. Now, the problem is if you're going to watch something in 60 hertz, you won't be able to display it. Let's say if you have a movie and there are only a few movies which are shot in 60 FPS. Like we have one Gemini Man. That one is shot in 60 hertz. Um, 60 fps so that will do totally fine if you're on 60 hertz but most of the movies are made in 24 fps so in that kind of situation you have to manually go to your display properties in nvidia shield tv and bring it down to 24 hertz so your content is displayed the way it was intended that's all i have from this video guys make sure to like this video and let me know what do you guys think about it in the comment section and i'll see you guys in another one until then peace out